Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Will It VR. I apologise if I look a little bit tired today. That's because I was up until about two in the morning playing probably the weirdest game I've ever played in my life. I will put a little link to that somewhere here on this video, um, but it was quite an experience. I don't regret it, but I am tired and I'm paying the price today. But it's fine, we're going to jump into Vorpex and play some more Will It VR today. I'm going to be trying out Bioshock Infinite. Very excited to give this one a go. This is probably, I don't know why I've put this off for so long. Bioshock Infinite is probably my favourite Bioshock game in the series. I think it combined everything that made the two previous games great, bundled it in another incredible location. The story was fantastically mind-blowing, had me talking for months afterwards. And it was just it was just a great experience, a great world to run around in. And I think experiencing this in VR is going to be on a whole other level. So very excited to jump in and play Infinite today. Now I have played the original Bioshock on my channel already. That was a pretty big success. I was really happy with the results that Vorpex gave um, in the original Bioshock. It supported direct VR scan, the head tracking was good, the scale felt great, the world was immersive. It really was a great experience. There were a few issues though that might be prevalent here as well. When you moved between sections, if, you, if there was a loading screen or a checkpoint moving you between two sections, um, I lost all head tracking, which was bizarre. Needed to kind of reload to get the head tracking back. So I did encounter a few problems, but overall it was one of the most impressive Vorpex experiences I've had so far. I'm going to dive in now, and this game does support direct VR scan, so when I get into the game world I'll do the direct VR scan and then I'll start talking about how good it looks and kind of, uh, as always, I'll kind of highlight any issues and I'll say what looks good and you know the drill by now, but let's jump in and play some Bioshock Infinite. Very excited for this one. Big, big Bioshock Infinite fan. Let's give it a go. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Oh, such a good opening. So you expect me to show What's this? The Thank, Thank you. Yeah. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea. I've got a very limited um the rowing. No. Very limited then what? viewpoint here. I can I can turn to the side to a point and then it stops me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. Oh. I'm going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. Hey, is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. <laughs> Bye. There's... I'm noticing something. That I've never encountered in any of these Will It VR videos before. Um, which is interesting because I've done quite a few. The head tracking is lovely, but it feels... It feels very mechanical. I don't know if you can tell in the video like how perfectly it stops. Like it's, it's almost like I'm turning in increments. And I have control over that, but it's like it's... I don't know... Normally in most of these Will It VR videos and in most VR games I've played, it's kind of a little bit of kind of overreach. So when you turn your head to the right, it kind of slides a little bit further. And when you turn to the left, it slides a little bit further. And, it's, and it's, it feels a bit more natural. This still like stops dead. You see what I mean? Hopefully you can see what I mean. And I don't sound like a madman. Let me just do a quick direct VR scan. And I'll see what that does for me. Direct VR scan, rotation, yep, let's do all that. Position. Mm, taking a while. Ah. Okay. Right. Okay, so now that I've done the direct VR scan, I've got the kind of head tracking I would normally get. Is, is that kind of smoother? Yeah. Hopefully you can tell from the video the difference that's made. But now the head tracking feels like... Oh wow, that's nice. Little raindrops. Landing right in my eyeballs. Um, yeah, hopefully you can tell the difference now that I've done the, the direct VR scan. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me. Oh. The Bioshock games. There he is. Hello, Booker. Bioshock games lend themselves so well to VR. I said this in my um, Bioshock uh, original video. 
But it shocks me, it really does shock me that they haven't done like a, a VR collection for these games. 2K did one for Borderlands, well they've done a couple of the Borderlands games now. Just It's just weird to me um, that they've done Borderlands but haven't done Bioshock. When Bioshock is such a beloved property and I think there's a market for people to buy these games here? in VR. Hello? Oh, this is one of the coolest openings ever for a game. Absolutely love it. Oh yeah, I remember this. Wait a minute, that card. Okay, so um, we need to do one of those, two of those, and two of those. This bit is incredible. What in the world is... Oh, I love it. <laughs> Let me in. I do have questions about exactly how this works. Right, I'm not going to look here, I might just cut scene. Oh, this might be a bit weird. Yeah, so I'm locked in now, I can't look around. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Stop spinning me around. My gun! Yeah, so it literally is like a spaceship. It's a proper rocket. You'd shit yourself, wouldn't you? Because you'd think you were going to space. Oh, I love this bit so much. Oh, oh I can't look around. It's amazing. It's just the music. So very cool. Okay, so that was a parachute coming out. Makes a bit more sense now. And it just so happens to float perfectly down to where it needs to be. It looks beautiful. Um, one of the things that I really love in the Bioshock games is the architecture and the attention to detail they put into the environments to make them feel like kind of real fantasy places. And seeing it in VR is um, is a real treat, which is why, and I said it at the start of this video, it does surprise me that 2K or you know someone hasn't given us an official port of these games in VR. It just seems like a strange missed opportunity because I think people people would buy them. They're beautiful places to explore, and they do they do deserve to be experienced in VR. I think personally. There's a market for it. Right. Okay, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, baptizing and drowning. There's a fine line between those two things. Um, okay, here I am out in the actual kind of open world Columbia area. And it, it really does look stunning using Vorpex. Very similar to Bioshock. The architecture... All the little details are breathtaking to look at in VR. Seeing them in 3D, seeing them with the right scale, so the buildings, these statues all kind of pointing their keys down at me. It, it looks amazing in here. Um, direct VR scan really helps because it's given me a great sense of scale. Um, and it's really helped the kind of FOV, the, the 3D, the depth. It's... It's beautiful. I was more excited to try this one out than the original Bioshock because this one has so many kind of... Oh, shush. This one has so much, like, beautiful architecture in it. So many kind of, like, tall buildings, whereas, obviously, Bioshock, the original one, is very enclosed. It's really claustrophobic. This is claustrophobic for different reasons. It's so bright and airy, but it still feels claustrophobic. It's just... Look at it! Just got to be one of the most amazing video game worlds ever made. It just has to be. So you really do get a sense of scale for how, how tall these buildings are. Which kind of freaks me out because... 
I want to get to the bit where I get the sky hook and I can start riding on these rails because I imagine that will be vomit inducing. That's that's a big statue. <laughs> Real big. Yeah, the, the scale feels about right. Um, Bioshock at points made me feel a little bit like a little bit too small. This feels pretty much spot on. Yeah, compared to like the other characters, the models, um, just the, the world itself, I feel about the right size. You move so slowly and kind of smoothly in these games. There isn't much kind of, um, there isn't any actually uh, head bob, so no nausea at all. It's very easy to play these games in VR, the Bioshock ones. It's a super smooth experience. Um, one thing that's really nice and is a benefit of having direct VR scan available as well is the HUD um, is, is fully visible to me. I'm not losing any of the HUD elements. So I can see the, uh, I still see my health just hovering up there to the left. Can I jump off the edge? I can't remember being able to just jump off the edge whenever I want to. I don't want to jump off the edge, but that's a curious thing. I might jump off the edge just for an experiment, just to see, just to see what happens and see how disgusting it is to fall off the edge. Oh, one of my favorite bits. Love this bit. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. Do 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 oh, so good. So good, I love that bit. Um It's just incredible world design. It just really is mind blowing. I don't know how they've come up with this, but just these kind of interlocking sections. So like this whole bit, this whole flower shop area just floated along then and just clipped itself onto the main <laughs> to the main boulevard. It's just genius. How do you come up with that? It's it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. And that's what I mean about this being a perfect place to kind of explore in VR. Just such a great world to kind of walk about in and, and feel like you're there and see it all in this real scale. Oh, wonderful. Hello. Character models look a bit dated, but that's to be expected. I mean, the game's a little bit older. It had a kind of a cartoony aesthetic anyway. Doesn't look bad, don't get me wrong. The character models do just look a little bit dated. I don't know if there's any mods on PC to kind of get it looking a bit more... A bit more modern, let's say. 30 seconds, shoot the targets for points. Hit Daisy Fitzroy for bonus points. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, it's nice. Really smooth, but not like too, not too sensitive. Oh, I missed one. Oh, this is great. First place. That's a great, um... Thank you. It's a great way to show that the aiming is easy and nice with by using kind of head tracking. I was able to get first place there, um, and I could pop the shots off really nicely. Let's see when we get into actual combat whether it's just as good. Can I have that? Thank you. Oh, it's going a little bit trippy. So weird, it looks great. <laughs> Heads or tails? Heads. Doesn't really matter what I pick, does it? Um, tails. Told you. Damn it. Every time. Chin up, there's always next time. I suppose there is. Threat right in his face. Oh, they stopped me. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Uh oh. Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, uh -oh. false shepherd? Uh oh. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys. 
Shit. Ball in the face. Grim. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Can't take that. Oh, brutal. Jesus. Okay. You say no escape, but watch this. Watch me escape. Shit. <laughs> Hello. Why would you start on me? A man on a rampage. Oh, you've lost your head. Sad to see that happen, but these things do happen. Okay. Let's test if this combat is... Uh, is as good as I assume or hope it will be. Pigeons! Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good! Take that. Uh, yeah. Bullets, kind of bullets. Ah, this is a bad thing, isn't it? Let's possess that, make that a good thing. Yeah, you guys aren't getting up here now. I've got a friend. I've got a little buddy here. Oi. Stop it. This is really good. Really, really good. Gone, mate. I think if you want the best experience with Bioshock Infinite in Vorpex, it's probably going to be best to play with a controller. I settled with keyboard and mouse today because I thought it would be easier to set up, but I think the experience would be a darn sight better with a, with a controller because the controller's it's easier to uh, change weapons, change your vigors, all that kind of stuff. Right now, I'm, I'm getting lost with all the buttons on the keyboard, so definitely try and get it running with a controller. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh my. That makes me feel a bit sick. Okay. Let's take this guy down. Fuck, he's dead. Oh, I could have that. Hell yeah. I want to get on a skyhook. That's all I really want to test. Because the game the game works fantastically in Vorpex. I can already kind of vouch for that at this point. Um... Graphically, it looks good. It does look a bit dated. It's a bit of an older game. But it has a kind of cartoony style, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. The combat with this is even better. Okay, for this final part of the video, I'm going to be using my controller to control the action. I've stopped using keyboard and mouse, and I'll tell you why. When you run Bioshock Infinite in Vorpex in VR, it displays on your monitor in a small screen. It's about 640 by 400. Something weird like that. Tiny, strange little resolution screen. The reason it does that, I believe, is to keep the resolution correct inside your headset. If you try and make the game full screen, it breaks the resolution, it looks horrible, blurry, everything, the scale is all wrong. That would be fine running it on the small screen, but if you're playing with mouse and keyboard in VR, every now and then you'll move your mouse away from that screen, click somewhere else on your desktop and it pauses the game and pulls you out of the action, pulls you out of the flow of the combat and the gameplay, which is super frustrating. I shouldn't have that same issue and you shouldn't have that same issue if you're using controller, because in that regard, there's no way that you could be clicking off of that tiny little window that it's playing the game in. So it's still playable on controller, everything still works the same way, it's absolutely playable. Controller is probably, certainly, the best way to play this if you're going to try it in Vorpex. I've played everything up till now on the keyboard and mouse. It works fine, but you can, you can get pulled out of the action by clicking somewhere else on your desktop, and it's super frustrating. So if you can, if you've got the ability, play it with a controller. It's so, so much better. Um, this is the bit I wanted to get to, which is the sky rails, the, the rails that you go on, on with your hook, your sky hook. So... I'm just going to try it out because this is the bit that I really have been excited to try uh, in VR. Let's do it. Oh dear. Uh, that's quite intense. Don't try this if you are very prone to being sick everywhere. This is very good. But it's 
Where are your tents? Oh my god, that's cool. Oh, hello. Holy shit, that's fun. Right, let's do that again. Oh, I love like roller coaster games in VR. They're my favourite thing. Oh, this is great. Take this, you shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, okay. Uh, riding those sky rails like that is as good as I hoped it would be. Let's go again. Oh my shit. That's so fast. You can still look around when you're on here. Oh, oh. Okay, that's too fast. Uh, uh. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, that's very good, but that's probably too intense. If you're not used to VR. Um... Let's do it again. Before we jump back on there, I just I just want to say, I want to start summing up, because I'm probably at the end of this video now. Just sum up some of my thoughts. Uh, this this runs as well as Bioshock, the original did. Um, I prefer this, because I prefer this world. It's a much more interesting world for me to explore, and Rapture is gorgeous. It's a wonderful place to explore, but I love the architecture in this game. It does look a bit older, but that doesn't mean it looks bad. It has kind of a cartoony aesthetic, so everything still looks good it, it never tried to be a realistic looking game and that benefits it now that it's aged a little bit um, but seeing all the architecture seeing all these floating islands in VR in full 3d with great depth and scale is really impressive um, it's it's a joy to play I, I wish I'd played it on controller from the very start because this is a much nicer immediately a much nicer smoother experience than the keyboard and mouse was um, but it's good to try both just so I can tell you guys what is best and this one certainly the controller is better because the only problem I've had playing this has been that I've been able to click off of the game on my desktop which pulls me out of the gameplay and kind of breaks the immersion now let's go for another ride on these this is honestly so intense I cannot oh, cannot explain it enough how unreal these riding these rails is it's just so fun but yeah probably very intense if you're not used to VR oh my god the height you get as well all right let's dismount so so good who's telling me to die Hello. Take that. I gotta find the controls to take this thing to Monument Island. Incredible. Um, I'm going to leave it there. This works so so well. It's criminal. Honestly, they really should be putting these games in native VR uh, with native VR support. They just should. 2K should just be doing it. It would. It honestly would sell. I would buy it. People would buy it. They're great games. And to Experience them in VR is, is, a, is an absolute treat. This has worked so well uh, in Vorpex, it, just as well as the original did, but for me a little better because this is a world that I've always wanted to explore in VR. The only niggles I had, the only issues I had at all were being able to click off of that window if you're playing with keyboard and mouse. If you play with a controller, it eliminates that problem. The scale is fantastic, the 3D is fantastic, the depth is good, the game looks great because it's got that kind of cartoony aesthetic. And there's no nausea apart from when you're riding the sky rails. I think that'll be a bit too intense for some people. And the combat is just slick, smooth, no issues. I can aim with my head or I can aim with the controller. Whatever feels right to you. This is a fantastic Vorpex representation of this game. I, I think, as I do, as I say with most of these tests, because most of the ones I've picked have been a success. Um, if you have Vorpex and you have this game, give it a try. It's genuinely joyous, um, but do play it with a controller. Don't try and play it with keyboard and mouse. It just it, there's a few issues there that aren't worth you ruining the experience. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for another one. Take care, guys. See you later.